can start, there are some things yet to come, but I think they can join as they come in. Uh, we don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, let me first introduce um, the agenda for today. I think you've all seen what the schedule looks like. But the reason really we are by the meeting and the reason we put it together um, is all of us have been doing something uh, related to docs. A lot of us have been doing a lot maybe. The degrees vary. But I think the important thing is that we are all interested in we are all wanting to participate. The whole idea here is how do you participate more, figure out what is that, um, what are the tools available to us to act more effectively? What are the legal tool level, tools available to us? Some of the discussions that I just having, was just having on the side. What is available to us? What What is, for example, there is something like an SPC Act which we don't have in Bangalore, there is no SPC Act. So what is available to us which allows us to act more effectively for the animals. Of course, stray dogs are animals, but animals in general. Um, so that's really the agenda. So there are, and there are, what are the roles and responsibilities of different stakeholders in this whole thing? Uh, what is that we are supposed to do as individual citizens? And what are our rights? Can you make something legal? Can you take action? Can you confiscate an animal, help confiscate an animal? What do you do? How do you do a rescue? Where do you take that animal, etc. What are the other things that are available? Other things as in, the, the other people in the ecosystem which are AWS, what are their rights and responsibilities? What What is the mandate that they get? What is the mandate that the municipal corporations get? What is the responsibility that the municipal corporation has? But the backdrop for this whole thing thereof, therefore is that when I, for instance, started, and my journey in this thing is not very long. I've been around animal welfare or dog or whatever this business is called. Uh, maybe a short of 10 months, maybe a little more. <laughs> uh, and it really started last year when um, there was this whole idea of a dog cull again. Um, when there was a killing of a child. And, and I was actually not in Bangalore at that time, I was in Delhi. I didn't know anybody in this world at that time. Um, so it took me a few days or weeks to kind of start. I didn't even know what an ABC was. Okay. Um, so how do you kick start that process so people who want to participate can participate in a more meaningful way faster? All of us have the same common goal, uh, and I'm not saying that everyone is going to litigate or everyone is going to do rescue, but what is this uh, set of tools available to us? Okay? So, uh, to empower people like us ourselves um, is, the real, uh, is the real agenda. The second thing that uh, we want to set the tone for is, I've heard a lot of times people say, I'm an activist. You know, people introduce themselves like animal activists. Um, and they have, this question has been put to me many times as well. So you are an animal activist. And I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> because I've never seen myself before. Like I'm just doing what I think needs to be done. But the point about activism of any kind is to me twofold. One is, first you need to act. And as, as I was sharing with Meera and, and Purnima, a lot of the dog rescue today is actually happening on Facebook or email. So there is a dog uh, upset somewhere, uh, I mean, a dog has been hurt, he has been run over, dog has got a problem. All this rescue is happening virtually. Actually, there is very little of it or relatively little of it. How do you, how do you change that? When we say that we are activists, I think it is on all of us to say that we are first going to act. I am going to go there. And we are all busy. I know that. I am as busy as anybody else. And I am not saying I am doing more, but we are all busy and, and we all do something for a living. It is hardly anybody's profession to be here. But it is on us. I had to learn this over a period of time. I had to learn what our what does AWS do, what is the law, what is not the law, what can you act, what you can, I have to learn all that. So, can we short circuit, the, the, the website, the publication we do is also the same, which is, can you give information which is as readily available to somebody. So, if you were to search on a Google or something which says, you know, this act or this, um, uh, you know, this law case or this particular situation, hopefully you will get those answers relatively quickly because that information was not available. So, this whole idea is to set up, from, learn from, mentioned about the ecosystem and
today in the day we will see from what Nena speaks about and what uh, Anjali speaks about, maybe it won't make me able to do so even, uh, is in a little more detail about what are some of those cases, how have how has the law or the responsibilities uh, of those institutions, individuals, how have they panned out? So a lot of the experiences that we share today, uh, actually pretty much everything that we are going through or the animal is going through on the street is something that has happened before. There are very few which are unique and new experiences. Because dogs have been around for many, many thousands of years and we've been around monkeys years as well. So, so there is nothing that is, you know, so new that has never been seen before. So there is a precedence for most of the things that are happening. Uh, somewhere, some places, law, action, police is not adequate. So, but some places it is. And this experience of, uh, this collective experience, or this collective wisdom, how do you build that and make more of it available? Every time I've been asked this, there, so there is a message uh, on the VOSD uh, Facebook page, there is a message button. I get a lot of that messaging every day, which says, you know, in my locality there is a situation, or my resident and welfare association there is a situation. So I kind of try to point them to the right place and say this information is available, this was the court case, look at that. So far, other than one or two issues, there was a case recently where there was a lady who was feeding uh, pigeons and, uh, okay, and facing a problem feeding pigeons. Uh, people face problems feeding, feeding dogs. Uh, resident welfare associations don't want dogs. The municipal corporation decides to act in a certain way. Every time this information is put in front of people, people who are really concerned, who want to act, they can make use of it. So how do you create a more collective, inclusive, uh, you know, information base? For, and that was the real agenda. I'll, I'll come to what VOSD does in a, in a bit, but and, and it's not here to sell invoices straight off. The whole agenda with which I have approached this problem was really information. We have got into other things, but that is a byproduct of that. I had never thought that I would do rescue. As a matter of fact, the first few times I had to tell people, listen, I don't do rescue, I, I can't do that. But then I realized every time I say that, that I, dog actually dies. So, now my car is the rescue van. Okay. Uh, and every time you say that you cannot house a dog, it goes back on the street. So, you have to learn to do some kind of adoptions or, you know. Find this, you had to complete the chain. So these were not choices that we had made. But had the system been more performing, no system is perfect, but the system had, had it been performing better than what it does, uh, it could have been different. Okay. So where the constitutionally, law-wise, where the system is envisaged is I think here. Where it is practicing right now is here. Where we want to go is even higher. But there is still a, there is still a measure of what we can achieve before we say, okay, all laws are inadequate, we can't do this, we can't do that, we need to go even higher. Okay? So, and, and that, that step, that measure, is only ours, you know, we give it to anybody else. Uh, so when I said Facebook, uh, while it is a great tool, or even while they are a great tool, they, they are not rescue, they are not action, we just keep talking. Okay? Uh, and I will take this opportunity to introduce uh, Naina. Naina Atle is, um, from Bombay, she comes from Bombay. Uh, she is uh, on the managing committee of IDA. Uh, she is also on the committee or board or whatever you like to call it for the versus trade uh, But she brings a tremendous amount of experience from having started this program, just like Purnima Harish did uh, back in maybe 2000, ABC. Okay. So, uh, so she has been instrumental in starting this thing in, uh, in new uh, Navi Mumbai. Anjali is a High Court lawyer, a member of AWBI and whatever many hats that she wears but uh, also runs or helps run SPC and NOIDA so uh, there's a lot of everyday um, you know rescue and um, management effort that goes into, uh, into, into running something like that. There's a lot of experience that everyone brings and, and the question is how do we pull it together? So this by no means, and while I'm going to, there's nothing we can do, I mean we can't avoid talking about the versus trade-offs and the versus trade-offs, but the idea here was information. 
it's not a political group it's not a group which so i'm i'm what i'm saying is that we need to find ways and it's possible that that way is not this website it's possible it's possible that that way is not that facebook page which becomes increasingly more popular and more people are uh, you know on that page and on that website but there has to be a way where we can learn from each other and say okay this was your experience and how am i going to use it to handle the situation i have there's no point trying to reinvent the wheel and my journey has shown me in the in the context of the dogs that a lot of the experiences that i was going through in the situations i was trying to solve had been seen by somebody else so i just tried to digitize and put it together so somebody else could benefit not everyone appreciates maybe the way that it is done but the question is that it is information and needs to be done okay uh, and before i um, ask the real speakers for the day and leave you uh, i i just wanted to just set the context to what the voice of stray dogs does and is um, like i said about 9 10 months back we started doing really basically this website and this facebook page which was to give more information uh, and create give more information we had to actually digitize and capture a lot of information so i think that's how i started building some of the links because i started looking for information that was present outside and so on. then we started doing education we said okay why don't we go to schools why don't we go to colleges why don't we go to some resident welfare associations we started doing that then and we were refusing dog rescue works we started doing some dog rescue first individually uh, but the idea is to move forward to do it more in a more structured way uh, you know, first kind of figure out how to do a beta or a pilot in a more limited way uh, so in the, the context of the voice of stray dogs and what i was talking about like i said it's not that you know this is a better or worse entity but the idea that we try to what i'm attempting to do is disassociate animal welfare from the government money the government needs to govern when it runs an airline it goes south when it runs hotels they go south they can't give health care for my daughter okay 32 kids die in one little hospital in calcutta gone hospital bam 25 kids die in one month back right you know uh, 25 kids 30 20 32 kids died in shrinagar in the last month gone and lost come on not i believe government's got no job running these places any food or but now you're asking the government to give money or somehow carry the mandate of doing animal welfare to my mind at least in a government hospital however and there is nothing the only thing that from in my mind compares with a with a, with an animal with a dog is a really poor person because he doesn't know how to speak out and get what his right is they have no options in life okay but a person who's otherwise able to speak for himself or herself if they are put in that situation by the central state whatever this structure of governance is how do you put a dog in that structure what options does the dog have how the hell is going to fight out of that system and to my mind that's a larger part of the dog cruelty or whatever cruelty to my mind the cruelty is worse when it's institutionalized i may be wrong i'd be happy to be wrong but for for a country which has whatever number of you know 400 million dogs in uh you know any amount of agency any amount of municipal corporation is trying to do something and not doing it all right at least there is a corrective action available when you are the subject is a person because the person can engage with you and say this service is not good enough or i am not you know i was not supposed to get this id how do you solve the problem when this thing is a dog so what what i'm trying to build is a system which is disassociated from the government money so essentially bbmp can never have a news around the neck saying that you need to pick up this dog because this dog is you know some cooperator has reported this dog has to be picked up i don't take your money you can't tell me that okay 
And ultimately, just like people keep saying privatize healthcare, yeah, American elections are won and lost on that basis. Privatize or not privatize. Okay? How do you build a system of doing animal welfare which is on private money? So, so far it's being funded completely privately. All the voice of CDOS funding comes from you know, some individual pocket. However, going forward, if we need to scale, we have to change some of those things. Okay? Mm, so there has to be external money. External money, by which I mean we need to earn it. So we, have, we will have a series of services, uh, okay? for example, veterinary services and others, which uh, voice of CDOS is a non-profit, so you can't take money out of this agency. Uh, which is to create things which can fund this organization which, so it allows us to do what we want to do, but not be dependent on this mandate that somebody in the government, local or central government carries. There has to be a way to dissociate and the best thing for the voice of state dogs in the years coming forward would be if there are 100 of them. If this model works and somebody says, hey listen, this is a great model, I want to do animal welfare, I can save, you know, 100,000 dogs a year and if they can start an enterprise like this by themselves in you know four of them in Bangalore and five of them in Delhi and whatever else if this model works fantastic that's what we would like to do how do you create a system that feeds on itself that is self you know self contained in a, in a certain way and it is outside the pulls of pressures that come from governance as governance is nothing comes for free and it's for that reason that we've been very, very iffy about any amount of money that comes into post shares. Because nothing of it. Okay. So you need to you need to participate in your own way more having learned from this. I hope that all of us find ourselves in, within ourselves to do a little bit more. Okay? Or have this perspective, say that, okay, with this pers perspective we are going to act. Um, yeah. Uh, and I hope that if you want to participate with the Voice of Stray Dogs to help further this cause or to help enlarge this envelope or whatever we are creating. So now there are, there are multiple things including, like I said, adoptions, rescue, you know, vet care, trauma, uh, information, etc. Et so we didn't have a choice, like I said, we were forced to do it. But if you want to participate with Voice of Stray Dogs, we'd be very, very happy. If you want to do that in some other way, in your own form and size, I'd be happy as well. But let's all collectively go and do something and learn from the people who came before us, okay?